Without all the useless electronic technology we have today, the ancients were able to come up with some pretty impressive things that might blow your mind. From certain things we thought were only possible in modern times, to technology that we just can't believe. Here are 15 ancient relics that are so advanced they shouldn't exist. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. Number 15, the Ancient Egyptian Glider. This small wooden object, also known as the Saqqara Bird, was found near the city of Saqqara in Egypt in 1898, five years before the invention of the airplane. Saqqara is well known for serving as an ancient necropolis, which brought some mysterious artifacts to this area. This was believed to be a sacred object since the god Horus takes the form of a falcon. The glider made many historians wonder if the ancient Egyptians could have possibly designed some kind of flying aircraft. A replica model was tested out and it flew quite well, surprising many. This meant that it was in fact aerodynamic. Could this have just been a coincidence? However, many archaeologists refused to accept the fact that it may have been used to transport humans. Number 14. The Iron Pillar of Delhi Located in the highly populated city of Delhi, India, is where you'll find a mysterious pillar that rises 7 meters or 23 feet high. What's most intriguing about this pillar is that it's remained completely rust-free after 1500 years. If that wasn't shocking enough, it's made up of 99.8% pure iron. That's purer than iron we can currently create today in modern times. It weighs over 13,000 pounds, making you wonder how it's still even standing. The pillar even withstood the firing of a point-blank cannon strike in order to test its strength. Despite some indentation, it still stands strong to this day, making you wonder how all this is even possible. Number 13. The Nebra Sky Disc This mysterious disc is about 12 inches in diameter and weighs a total of 5 pounds. It's unlike any known artifact in the world, and many are still skeptical and believe that it is indeed a hoax. The Nebra Sky Disc features the most well-known stars in the ancient world, and it was discovered in 1999 by some treasure hunters in Germany. Made out of bronze, if it is indeed real, experts feel as though it would date back to 1600 BC based on other archaeological findings in the area. Moving parts could indicate how the skies would look during different seasons. It could in fact be a celestial calendar that proves man's advanced knowledge of astronomy or something someone put together in their basement. What do you believe? Number 12. The Mysterious Dodecahedron These bizarre dodecahedron devices are found all over former territories of the Roman Empire but no one can really figure out what exactly they're used for. Its strange design has even made people wonder if it has extraterrestrial origins. Found in places like the UK, Hungary, Germany, and France, about a hundred of these have been discovered. They tend to be made of bronze, but the true mystery is its purpose. New theories seem to pop up all the time, with explanations ranging from candle holders, dice, glove makers, and even astronomical measuring devices. With such a bizarre range of possible uses, people have tried to prove their theories, and one person even showed how it would be possible to make gloves out of it. Number 11. The Quimbaya Airplanes The Quimbaya Airplanes are golden artifacts that were found in Colombia and made by the Quimbaya civilization. Many believe this is evidence of ancient civilizations making contact with some kind of creature who was able to fly. Of course, mainstream archaeologists want to describe these as flying lizards, insects, birds, and firmly believe the answers to these mysteries are found from out of this world. Supporters of this theory also claim that the objects are aerodynamically accurate and the replicas have proven to fly. Here in these photos, you can even see that some of these objects might even have propellers on them. Was this civilization visited by alien life, and then they carved these gold sculptures in their form? Number 10. The Lysurgis Cup this photo we see here shows the Lysurgis cup, which was created in the 4th century AD by the Romans. What's strange about this cup isn't just the depiction of the mythical king Lysurgis being wrapped around in vines, but also the mysterious glass that was used to create it. This seems to be a luxurious Roman object that was discovered from a sarcophagus and was even eventually used by the Rothschilds. It was sold to a British museum for £20,000 in 1958. Fine particles of gold and silver were added to the glass that would ultimately help change its colors, according to some theories. What's even more fascinating about this cup is that it appears to be the first example of nanotechnology. These metallic parts are spread only 70 nanometers across and cannot be seen without an optical microscope. Number 9. The Gold Encrusted Dagger of Stonehenge Just half a mile from Stonehenge, what was believed to be the original jewels of the King of Stonehenge were found. 
This priceless relic from the past is extremely well detailed, and the studs were thinner than a hole in a threading needle. The overlapping fish scale design took an incredible amount of time to create, with over 140,000 tiny gold studs. It would have only been fit for a king to enjoy. What's even more astonishing is the period of time in which it was created. With this being made about 4,000 years ago and using microscopic particles of gold, it's quite impressive. Number 8. King Tut's Meteorite Dagger King Tut is known for his remarkable tomb, but one thing that might get overlooked is his meteorite dagger. What leads archaeologists to believe that this dagger was from outer space was that iron was extremely rare during this period of time. It was much more normal to come across bronze during the Bronze Age, and its abnormally large nickel concentration proves that it's actually a meteorite. How could this be true though? Iron smelting didn't even exist in Egypt until the 6th century BC. Researchers at the Polytechnic University of Milan in the 1970s had inclusive results originally. But taking advantage of new technology, they decided to test it again. The plate closely matched elements found in meteorites containing mostly iron, but cobalt and nickel as well. What else might we discover from this young man's tomb? Number 7. The Main Penny An 11th century Viking coin was found on the coast of Maine, which seems to support direct European contact on American soil. If you haven't destroyed your history books yet, it's believed that this coin was used for trade among the Native Americans and the tribes of the area. Imagine Viking longboats sailing across the shores of the present-day United States. The coin was found in a known Native American settlement called Nasacog Point, and you have to wonder what other places the Vikings may have traveled to. Could this be evidence that we need to declare that the Vikings made it further west than Greenland? Number 6. The Antikythera Mechanism some artifacts possess such an extremely advanced amount of knowledge that no one should really have possessed it in ancient times. Maybe the ancient Greeks knew a little bit too much. The amount of precision and comprehension of the cosmos shown from the Antikythera mechanism would suggest some type of extraterrestrial contact. This device could tell the people using it exactly how the skies would look for decades to come. This includes lunar eclipses, traces of the path of Venus, as well as phases of the moon and sun. It was found in a shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island Antikythera, and until it was discovered, no one even knew it existed. Made of bronze, this dates back to 2,000 years ago. You have to wonder how much of it was used before, and where exactly its intended target was. When the operator of the device would turn a handle, something similar to the hand of a clock would point to a specific day of the year. With a complex system of gears, the user would be able to see on the back the cycle of the moon, the sun, eclipses, etc. Modern day watchmakers had called this device simply genius, and it used technology that no one had ever used before. Number 4. The Iron Dagger of Hoyuk one of the first examples of iron being used as a material to craft weapons was found in the Neolithic site and the Hittite settlement known as Alaka Hayuk in Turkey. The area was known to be home to a rather advanced civilization who engineered many dams in central Anatolia. But what's so special about this dagger? It's that it was made sometime between 2500 BC to 2300 BC. It predates the Iron Age by over 1200 years, much earlier than King Tut's dagger. This would almost be like having an automatic rifle during the Revolutionary War. It most likely belonged to the king because only he could afford something quite so lavish. Number 3. The Viking Ulfbert Sword We all know Vikings were some of the most feared warriors known to man and were devastating on the battlefield and plundered much of Europe. But did they possibly possess technology a thousand years in advance? When archaeologists stumbled upon 170 of these blades with Ulfbert written on them, it made them want to rewrite history books on the technology the Vikings were capable of. The process of forging the iron needed something to reach temperatures of 3000 degrees Fahrenheit in order to liquefy the iron, which is only known to have been done in the industrial age. It also contains three times the normal amount of carbon known to be used in other medieval swords at that time. These were considered to be super swords and would have been extremely rare and valuable. How could they have possibly made these? Number 2. The Baghdad Battery Could it be possible that ancient civilizations had electric power created by batteries much earlier than we thought? This artifact found in Baghdad, known as the Baghdad Battery, is believed to date back to 250 BC. It's basically a ceramic pot with tubes of metal and the jars are filled with a mysterious liquid. It's most likely acidic fruit juice like lemon juice or vinegar. This would somehow generate an electric flow with copper and iron rods. Maybe they knew more than we thought? And number 1. Stone Age Copper Mace One of the first copper tools believed to have been made was actually a mace found in the Anatolian Peninsula. What's really advanced about this artifact is not just the metal itself, but also the details that would suggest it was likely hammered into shape. 
It's made of nearly pure copper, but likely used for ceremonial purposes. The mace head dates back to about 6,000 BC, which is a thousand years before other melted copper tools would begin to appear. It would take a while for ancients to realize that adding tin to the mix would create bronze, which would give it much better durability. 